Hey everyone, welcome back to Today in Tech. I'm Juliette Beauchamp. I am here with Macworld's Michael Simon, and we're talking about the iPhone 9. Whatever happened to it? Stick around. All right, Mike, thank you so much for calling in. That has been the greeting I've been starting off all of my videos with because everyone's calling in now. And you can't be in the same room with anybody. <laughs> no. So a few weeks back, back in the glory days of being in a studio, we actually, we, and along with Ken, talked about, um, you know, the iPhone 9, cheap versus expensive phones. And we were like, yes, the iPhone 9 or the iPhone SE 2 is coming. And even amidst potential supply chain issues, obviously, since now a lot has changed in both the world, supply chains, pretty much, <laughs> yeah, you know, so... I was thinking after the first few thoughts crossed my head, like, you know, how do I keep myself and my family safe? How do I do my job effectively from home? I assure you the third thought I had was, what is going on with the iPhone 9? So originally it was, the, the rumor was that it was going to land on March 31st. That was um, yesterday. Uh, we're, we're filming this on April 1st. And that was supposed to be a, the Apple's usual thing, an event at their campus. Uh, you know, the iPad Pro probably would have come out with it, which which landed earlier uh, or, or l late March. And also the um, iPhone 9 was gonna be with it. And now that seems to be in some limbo, obviously, because we haven't seen it yet. All rumors point to the fact that it is still being made, it is still being produced, and it will likely land around the middle of April, April 15th, April 17th, something, somewhere in that time frame is what the latest rumors Right. So some Apple devices that were expected to be launched already, like you said, or announced already, have already been announced. And are those already being sold? Yeah, the iPad Pro is being sold. The, the, the keyboard, the new keyboard, the new, it's called the Magic Keyboard that goes with it. That's not on sale yet till, until May. There's a new MacBook Air, which is also on sale. And the new Mac Mini uh, wasn't really new. It, it just got a, a, a storage refresh. They bumped right. the low-end storage by, uh, I think... From, from 128 to 512 or something like that. And that, that's also on sale. So yeah, Apple is making things and they are selling things and they are available to purchase online because you can't go to a store anywhere really, except um, some parts of China. Mm -hmm. And um, the iPhone 9, again, would have landed with all that stuff. But for whatever reason, whether Apple wants to create some space to give it a little more attention or to kind of spread these things out because people don't have the disposable income that they once had, whatever reason, it looks like it's going to be um, probably in a couple of weeks. So when I was seeing that these first Apple devices were launched, it doesn't seem like there was any sort of big announcement around it. Did I completely miss something or did Apple just sort of say, yep, here they are? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's that's kind of how it is now. They, you know, some companies have been doing these virtual live streams where they get reporters together and they have embargoes. And Apple, if you ask me wisely, just said, you know what, we're just going to update our website on a random day and it's Apple. They still get the attention. They still get the headlines. People still pay attention. They don't, they don't have to jump through all these hoops. And um, so, yeah, the iPad landed on just, a, you know, one morning I woke up and there was a new iPad. There was a new MacBook. And it's the same thing going to happen with the iPhone. You know, it'll be on whatever day they choose at about, uh, usually it's 8 a.m. Eastern time, sometimes 8.30. And um, it just refresh apple.com and there it is. So, yeah, that was the deal with these previous devices released by Apple and, you know, a few weeks ago ish. But what's interesting that I've been seeing with the iPhone 9 release date is that, you know, yes, it should hopefully come, like you said, mid March, but also that the reason, oh my gosh, mid April. We're, we're in April, Mar March finally <laughs> ended. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, it's supposed to launch mid April, but the rumors that I've seen around it and the reason why we know that it is in fact coming because it was, it seemed, you know, from my point of view, at least that it was a little bit of a question, especially since Apple released all of these devices um, previously, is that the new cases have been distributed to suppliers. Which is interesting. I mean, case makers often have deals with these companies like Samsung, for example, will tell, I don't know, Spec or Spiken, 
this is these are the dimensions of our new phone. It's coming out in February, so here's the case. Apple doesn't do that. So case makers, they basically guess, make the products, make the retail box and the packaging and whatever else slap some kind of a, of a name on it. In this case, it's I think it was uh, iPhone 4.8 inches was the rumor that I saw or, or was was the case that I saw. Because they, if they say iPhone 9 and it's called the iPhone SE, people don't get it and vice versa. So they put like a generic name on it. It's a sticker that they can cover up with a new sticker when the actual name comes out. And they, they, they often do this. And my, my guess is the reason why, so this was from Best Buy and it was uh, Ultimate Armor Gear, UAG, which is a popular case maker. And it was leaked a few days ago that, yeah, this was a 4.8 inch iPhone case that was embargoed to, I think it was April 5th. And yeah, my guess is that that's, that's as much of a guess as, as I'm making. Like they're assuming it was supposed to come out March 31st, it didn't. So they wanted to have everything ready in stores and ready to go when Apple released the, the, the phone. You know, they can surmise what it's gonna look like, what, what the dimensions are gonna be, uh, how, how rugged or whatever the case needs to be to make it. And if it's wrong, they would pull those back, hence the April 5th embargo date. Say, hey, Best Buy, send those back to us because we need to make new ones. That April 5th date wasn't Apple talking to Ultimate Armor Gear and saying, oh no, Urban, I'm sorry, Urban Armor Gear, and saying, hey, this phone's gonna release in, on April 5th, have these cases ready, no. This is them, the manufacturer of the case, saying, okay, this is our best guess of what this phone's gonna be. Don't put it on shelves until this date in case we need to, you know, pull it back and, and start over. Right. So those, those rumors are, you know, you can surmise a little bit from it, but, but not much as far as Apple's schedule goes. Right. So the mid April, not mid March is, is it still a bit of a question mark? Okay. I mean, everything is right now, you know, Apple has no stores to sell anything and Apple has, you know, limited production lines to sell things. And, and, you know, this, this, this type of product was always kind of weird for Apple because it's in the middle of the two iPhones. I mean, listen, right now the iPhone 12 is in doubt and that's not coming out until September because A, production lines, B, we don't know what this world's going to look like when we come out of this. There is a lot of things to, to, that people are going to have to figure out financially, economically, socially, everything that doesn't, that doesn't matter with what, what phone you're going to buy. So Apple has to consider all of that and then they'll make a decision as to when or, or, or how this new phone releases. The, the, the good thing about the iPhone 9 right now is that it's a, a budget phone by Apple standards. And, you know, since a lot of people are, are out of work, it, it, it might be a, a more of a popular product than it would have been in a booming normal economy. Right. And in a similar vein, I'm wondering about how you know, store closures, factories being closed worldwide, it, did that affect the production of the iPhone 9 at all? Or were they already kind of ready to go? I mean, my guess is, yeah, it probably slowed it down a little bit. But, you know, Apple didn't start making, if they are indeed getting them ready for a mid-April sale date, you know, these have been in production since January. I mean, you know, it takes a while for these things. They, they have to ramp up, you know, millions of them, tens of millions of them even all around the world. So, you know, I'm, I'm quite certain that somewhere there is a giant warehouse filled with iPhone 9s ready to go. But yeah, no doubt it did constrain some of the supply of these, of, of these products for sure. And on top of that, I would also imagine that there's going to be a whole other issue, which is how are we going to actually get these iPhones out? I mean, shipping services are, of course, essential business for the most part. I took a trip to the UPS store just about a week ago out of pure necessity, I assure you. Um, but I would imagine that could also be a challenge. Of course, yeah. And, you know, we should we should tip our hats to shipping services right now because that's really the only thing that how we're able to communicate with each other is UPS, FedEx, and uh, USPS, obviously. And, yeah, those things, you know, those services are working. But we also see that, you know, things are significantly delayed on Amazon. I mean, things that would normally ship in by, you know, today is today's a Wednesday. So you would normally get it by Friday. They're not shipping till like the end of April. You know, everything everywhere is being constrained so they can prioritize 
hospital gear, um, you know, essential home items, things like that. So, you know, yeah, you might buy an iPhone on Wednesday where you would get it on Saturday. You might be waiting a week or so, you know, and people are just going to have to understand that. That's just the, the way things are right now. Well, thanks so much, Mike. Really appreciate you calling in for this update about the iPhone 9. It will hopefully still be released and hopefully soon. Once it comes out, what sort of features are we expecting? Just to recap. Yeah, it's looking like it's going to be a refreshed iPhone 8. So 4.8 inch screen. There are some rumors that there's going to be a small one and a big one, the, the, the plus side, which, which would be a 5.5 inch screen. But we'll just stick to the, the smaller one for now. So 4.8 inch screen, a new the uh, Apple's Apple's latest processor, more storage, a better camera, touch ID on the front, not not face ID. And, you know, not the newest stuff, but a lot better than the iPhone 8 and most likely 350 bucks. So it's 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 going to be a an, an attractive phone for someone who, you know, just lost their job, needs a new phone and doesn't want to spend 600 or $1,000 on, on, a, on an iPhone 11. Got it. Thanks so much. 349 or 399, do you think? I think 349, but we'll see. We'll see. As, as is custom with all Apple products, we will just have to see. All right. Thanks so much, Mike, for calling in. Really appreciate it. And thank you all so much for watching this episode of Today in Tech. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, comments about the iPhone 9, if you get one and you want to let us know how it is, please leave a comment below. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.